Hi there. Now, if you watched the previous part of this question, we were asked to find the distance of the center of mass of this lambda, O, A, B, C, D, E, from O. And we found out that it was half a meter from O lying on this line O, C. Now, for this question, we're told that the lambda O, A, B, C, D, E is freely suspended from the point E and hangs in equilibrium. And we've now got to find the size of the angle between EO okay, and the downward vertical for six marks. So if you'd like to have a go at this, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. And when you come back, you can compare your work solution to mine. OK, welcome back then, if you had a go. Well, we should be familiar, if you've seen my previous tutorials on this, that when we hang something from a point, in this case E, then the centre of mass at this point here is going to be vertically under the point which we hang it. So, therefore, the angle that we would be interested in finding is this angle in here, which I'll mark in as, say, theta, okay? That one there. Now, if we just consider this triangle here, can we get theta from this triangle? Well, I don't think so at the moment. We haven't got enough information. But if I turn my attention to the regular hexagon up here, then if I was to draw project or project a line from E across horizontally like that, so it's vertically above O, okay, we'll just drop that down to there like so, and we'll take O back to E like that. We've got the triangle here that is below that one, so I'll put that one on as well, okay, we go half a meter down there, and from here we go back to E, okay, so we've got our triangle there. We'll put that in as half a meter. And what I'm going to do is we'll try and work out what this angle here is in this green triangle. Now I know that this distance from here down to here is one meter. We've just gone halfway up this side ED. So we'll put that as one meter. I also know that the distance from O to E is going to be two meters because what we've got here is a rhombus. Okay, all the sides would be exactly the same. And so that would be two meters. And by Pythagoras' theorem, this side here would be root 3 meters. And we should recognize this triangle. This is what we often refer to as a 1 is to 2 is to root 3 triangle, a 60, 30 degree triangle. So this angle in here is, in fact, 30 degrees. If you weren't sure about that, you could always just do the sine of this angle equals the opposite over the hypotenuse, so sine of this angle equals one half, inverse sine that, and you'll find you get 30 degrees. Now that I've got this angle in here is 30 degrees, I can work off this triangle here, okay? And if I work off this triangle, I should be able to find all of this angle in here, which I'll call, say, alpha. And once I've got alpha, all I've got to do is take 30 degrees away from it, and I've got the angle theta. Now when I look at this triangle on the outside here, I can see that to get alpha, I've got the opposite side, it's one and a half meters, and I've got the adjacent side, which is root three meters. So just using basic trigonometry, it's the tan of the angle alpha, equals the opposite side, one and a half meters, okay, 1.5 there, and if we divide it by the adjacent side, root three, then by taking the inverse tan of both sides, we get alpha equals the inverse tan of 1.5 divided by root three. 
and working this out, make sure your calculator is in degrees mode, say, you end up with 40.893 and so on degrees. So therefore, the angle that we want is theta and theta is equal to alpha, 40.893 and so on, take away 30 degrees. And working that out gives us 10.893 and so on degrees. And if we give this, say, to three significant figures, it's going to be 10.9 degrees to three significant figures. Okay.